Would you like to tell me what's been bothering you? No, I don't like being outdoors. Tell me you've left the house in three days. Mm. One, two, three. Have you eaten anything in three days? Mm -hmm. Besides canned tuna? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Obviously, I have a lot of ticks. <laughs> These distractions affected your work of late? What would you do if you had to change careers? What, if I wasn't an antiques broker? If you weren't a criminal. <laughs> this is Dr. Klein. I just got off the phone with Angela, your daughter. She says she really wants to meet you. Remember me? All of a sudden, I have a daughter. No one's in here. Now you have to set an example for someone else. Beer. Uh... Cheers. Uh... Just try to be as honest and open with them as possible. Right. You're a con man? A con artist. And that guy, Frank? He's my partner. Teach me something. Rule number one, never work near where you live. Don't. Rule number two, yeah. don't write anything down. <laughs> you regret it, exposing her to that? Well, uh, you know, it was a little... It, it made me feel a little... I, you know, it was a little... I really liked it. How much do you think we can take that guy for? 30 grand. More. Come on, I'm 21! This 14-year-old girl working these people with me. My dad's a smooth operator. <laughs> I'm not very good at being a dad. I barely get by being me. You good to go? Is it poke poo in the woods? Just say yes, okay? There's one last thing. What? I want you to give the money back. This is so... You think crime doesn't pay? No, it does. It does, just not very well. Mm -hmm.